Have you ever thought about wanting to do quilting on your serger? Well, there's a couple things to think about. I have a quilt as you go option I'm going to show you. But if you're just thinking about sewing blocks together, you want to find out how to guide it so you have consistent seams. Usually you don't cut anything off and if there's triangles involved, I don't always go into trying to piece it all together with a serger. The bigger the blocks, the more I would say yes, really small pieces that need really precise pre um, piecing and intersections matching, maybe not so much. But we've come up with a one hour serger quilt and there'll be a link in the description of this video to take you over to the pattern that we've created. This one hour serger quilt will take you an hour the first time you do it, but if you uh, do it again, it will take you about half that time in 30 minutes. I'm gonna give you the crash course of how this, how a quilted as you go technique can be done with the serger. So I'm gonna just start off by taking pieces of fabric and making myself a little sandwich of the sort. Okay, so we got that sandwich, and so we got right sides to right sides, batting in the middle kind of, set up here. So if I want to go ahead and connect these two together so there's no seam, what you want to do is actually layer everything together right sides together. So by kind of getting this prepped here, I can see what I'm doing. I'm going to take this right side and go right side together on the top. I'm going to set my little batting to the side for a second. And then I'm also going to put right sides together on the back side. That will get us right sides together. Now that extra piece of batting, just put it on top. Now with your serger, if you make the stitch like just a little bit longer if necessary, you can lift the foot up here or here and just go ahead and serge. This is nice because it'll just even up all these edges and it will go through it so let it, let it help you out. So the key here is that you go to the iron and truly press. You must press as you go here. So here's our first layer. That's gonna get pressed that way. Flip it over on the ironing board with nice hot iron. When you press this, this will stick nicely to the cotton batting. All right, so that's how you get your pieces to go together. So let's do that again. Let's take one more piece. All right, here's my two pieces of fabric. I'm gonna kind of make that little pre quilt sandwich so I can see what I'm doing. Here we go, repeat after me. Right sides together on the top, right sides together on the bottom, and the batting on top. So like I said, we have a fun, great uh, quilt that is what we call a one hour serger quilt that will use this technique. It's a great for baby quilts or a charity quilt. It's just the right size. And especially if you have strips of batting that are left over from projects, you will be able to use them up. All right, so you just continue as you go. And you'll see in our uh, video here that these are long, long strips, like the length or uh, from uh, the 44 inches off their bolt of a fabric. And before you know it, you can have a quilt completely quilted on your serger.